Is the food you put into your mouth treats or poison? Or are you totally confused about which one's which? We're so excited that we've been able to create over 403 Inside Track episodes that we actually get to learn real estate insights. Today, we're going to take a little twist on the real estate insights and make it much more home related, house related, how we live in our space and how we bring food into our house, what kind of food we bring into our house, and how that just really causes us to have the best life possible. So Cheryl yes. is with us again, which is so exciting, to talk about treats. Treats. What's a treat to your body? Well, for me, that's anything that's in its natural state. Fruit, vegetables, greens. Anything in its natural state. Anything so in its natural state. Right. So if you're watching this show, then you'll be able to see I'm holding an apple. That's right. And if you are listening, you'll think, what? Go to our YouTube channel and there's lots of ability to watch it there. So an apple's natural state. Mm -hmm. So we're going to call that because we're going to talk a little bit today about grading food. That's right. How do we make sure that what we're putting into our mouth actually serves us? That's right. Apple is a? An A food. An A food. It's the letter grade A. Letter grade A. And what way would make it an A plus, this apple? Uh, if it's organic. If it's organic. So organic, we get a plus out of the deal. Mm -hmm. And if it's not organic, it's an A. Okay. And if we wash it and don't, well, if we do wash it and scrub, it probably stays an A. If we don't wash it and scrub it, it's probably an A minus. No. Potentially, but you do yeah. really want to wash your produce well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I just thought we'd get in there that A minus if you're a kid and you don't like to wash. Sometimes yes. my grandkids will come in, yes. grab the apples out of the bag and they're not organic this time and start eating it. And it's like, oh, don't yeah. do that, baby. But even with your organic produce, you should still wash everything. Wash. Just wash it. Wash everything. Okay. Absolutely. That's the only way to get a true A plus. That's wash it. Wash it. I get a A plus because I wash my body every day. <laughs> What's that got to do with food? <laughs> I was just saying, you know. I'm... And I'm really grateful for that right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As we sit close together yeah. and Cheryl's our trainer. So Cheryl knows what it's like yes. when he hasn't just had a shower. That's right. And it's horrible. So thank you oh, that you thanks. shower no, every day. I'm doing my job. That's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. I, I heard a quote once that, that sweat is is fat leaving the body. That's right. <laughs> All right. So you're going to go with that one? I'm going with that. Okay, good. So a bee food, Cheryl, what would be a bee? If we're All talking right. to the apple, let's just stay okay, with apples. So we'll stay with the apple. So this letter grading system is, it's a simple way. The most common question you get from people is, well, what should I eat? How am I supposed to know? It's so confusing. So simple, simple, simple. Anything in its natural state. So you can pick up that particular food Mango, it's in, apple. It's in its natural state is an A. However, if we go down the aisle and we see unsweetened applesauce in a jar sitting on the shelf, that's not an A because it didn't come off the tree that way. That it didn't? Be, it did not. I'm just, no. <laughs> My grandkids think it I did. I know, exactly. <laughs> so it's a B. It automatically goes to a B. But because it's unsweetened, there's less chemicals and sugars that have been added to that particular Well, product. no sugar, hopefully. No sugar, hopefully. But again, you have to do, you have to read your labels as well, because we, we assume that what's on the label is accurate, which is not the case. So you really need to turn it around and look and see what's in there. Oh, right. When you're reading the thing, because it says 100% pure whatever. That's right. And then when you read the label, yes, there is 100% pure apple in it. And there's and also 12 other things or 18 right. other things. Exactly. Right. So I just figured something out. Yes. If it doesn't have a label. That's right. It's good for you. It's good for you. Because <laughs> exactly. it's 100% pure. That's they don't right. have to put a label yes. on it. It's even more simpler. <laughs> we go to the jar that has, that is sweetened applesauce. More chemicals, sugars have been added. So now we're at a C. C. Yes. C. Okay. D would be apple juice. Apple juice. We're very far removed. We're getting far from the far original Far from product. the original source. Now, if you are juicing your own apple, that's an A. Absolutely mm. different mm. than, I'm sorry, sorry. Is, is it an A? The, 
I mean, you're, it's your if system. If you're juicing, I would, yes. I would if, call it a bee because well, I'm not chewing it. I'm not getting the fiber, the, true, the bulk. True, true. That's, that's true. that's just me. Yes. But it's your system. So. But if you had to... If you <laughs> yeah, had just want to hijack our system, honey. <laughs> that's what I'm known for. No, but it's that's a good question. And certainly, to me, it's... Okay, what, where can I make a better choice? Hmm. I would certainly look at juicing my own vegetables and fruit as opposed to buying juice. Right, because that's the guaranteed a D. Absolutely. As soon as you're buying a processed right. fruit now, now juice. What, what about I go into Whole Foods and they have their... Their, their juice like it, it's thick, like a smoothie, mm -hmm. you know, and it's 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 got some greens in it and some right. some different things, and it's green, but it tastes sweet and yummy. Right. So I got to close my eyes when I drink it because <laughs> you don't like the look of <laughs> green. That, that's where would that be? Have they put something in that to that, preserve it? You'd have to ask. Right now, if they're making it in front of you, so if they, you can see them putting all the fruits and the vegetables in the blender, no, 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 no. And this is on the shelf in the refrigerated section. And... See, I would be asking questions. <laughs> okay, so it's because not... you don't know, so don't I'd, assume, I'd be, but you don't know. If I'm in Whole Foods, I better to go get the whole food and absolutely, eat that. absolutely, for sure. <laughs> okay, yes, and then to get to an app, yeah, is there Apple any pie? or not at all? It didn't really. It didn't really make sense. I, I tried to kind of coordinate it with the whole school grading system. So, mm. an F, which would be a fail, yes. fail, apple pie, okay. apple fritters, apple, you know, anything that's mm, like so fun. donuts with apples in them. Yes, yes. However, <laughs> that's an F. The, the, the that would be an F minus. Ken. <laughs> the beauty of the system, though, is if you make your own. Um, apple pie or and even use organic or, ingredients and you can change the ingredients so you can certainly take an f or even a d and bring it up to a b however if you're making your own apple pie it will never be an a no because this although is although i've a. won some competitions for my apple pie and you felt like you deserved an a i deserve an a yes but when i eat it i don't feel like i'm eating an a right exactly so it's just a simple system to be able to go through the grocery store. We've all heard stick to the perimeter of the grocery store. You want to try and eat as many of your foods as you can in their natural state. The further you move along, the more chemicals and things that you're going to get in there. The other recommendation I make to people is look at ingredients. If you can't pronounce any of the words on the back of that label, but chances Ken thinks are he can he can pronounce. <laughs> what do you can pronounce, honey? I can pronounced monosodium glucamate. Yes. Doesn't mean it's good for you. No. And they no. short form it so you don't know what it is. That's it's called right. MSG. Yes. And, and you can say that. Yes, I can say MSG as well. Yeah. And so but it doesn't mean learned, I should eat it. Right. So we've learned certain tricks mm -hmm. to learn language yes. because it's so prolific in our foods. And so for sure if we can't say it yeah, try to Don't stay away. The minimal, minimal amount of ingredients, that's fantastic. And the way the ingredients are listed is, so the first ingredient, that's the most, the highest occurring ingredient in the product. And then it goes down from there. Mm -hmm. So if you see mm. whatever that first ingredient is, and then the like second sugar. ingredient is sugar. There's <laughs> or sometimes a, the first ingredient Or the first is ingredient sugar. is sugar. You know that that's a lot of sugar in that product. Mm. So you need to, you need to, to me, it's buyer beware. And for me, if you are not investing in learning about what you're feeding yourself and your family, you need to do that because it's your health. You're putting your hands in the, the responsibility of your health into the hands of manufacturers, which mm. you don't want to do because so, they don't care. About right. Your health. So let's take our control back of what's going into our body so that we can be thriving rather than let somebody else tell us what we should be eating. We're grateful that we get to learn this stuff with you and thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome, my pleasure. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward.